In 2014, I was living in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The country was obsessed with the coming World Cup, and I was too. I absolutely had to get to as many games as possible. But there was a problem. The only way to get tickets was this horrible website that would release them at random times throughout the day. I was working as a teacher at the time, and when somebody at work would see tickets pop up, they'd run around the hallways telling all the other teachers, and we'd sprint out of our lessons, abandon our students, and try to buy tickets. I got really frustrated with this process. Nobody wants to spend their day refreshing web pages, neglecting children, or worst of all, miss a release because they were too slow. But by using a little trick, the right-click inspect that's available on every browser, I was able to see a straightforward list of how many tickets were available. And this was an eye-opening moment for me because it showed me that the information I wanted was right there. And though I didn't have the tools yet to make it myself, I knew what I needed an automated program that would check that site and let me know when there were tickets. So I started coding. I learned just enough to know what to look for on Google, where I found snippets that other people had already written, which I copy-pasted and pieced together in a way that worked for me. I got stuck for a bit on this one part, but I learned that the internet is full of forums of people willing to help you if you ask for it, like I did on Stack Overflow. After some help I got there, it all clicked for me. I put my program on a little computer and set it to run every minute of every day, just to be sure I didn't miss another release. Because of my program, I ended up going to nine different World Cup games. But most importantly, I learned that the vast amount of information on the internet can be put to use in a way that's helpful to me. This recognition that I could create my own solutions spurred me on. And with each bit I learned, I started noticing things in my life that I was doing on the computer and that were repetitive. I started getting really frustrated with things that were repetitive, and so I looked for every opportunity I could to automate it. One of those repetitive tasks was figuring out where to drink beer with my friends. We used to spend a lot of time figuring out which beer bars to go to. So I made a program that grabbed the list of beers from the sites, found the rating, and then put it all together in one place where we could have a quick overview. Of course, I had visions of engatados.com.br being a revenue-generating website that'd be the toast of the Sao Paulo beer scene. But no one came. I used it a lot. A couple friends used it too. But it didn't matter. Because I'd improved my quality of life by automating tasks and spending less time on the computer and more time with my friends. Since then, I've automated a lot of other things. Finding cheap train tickets, finding the best wine deals at my supermarket, the best restaurants to go to. I've even used it to plan trips to wine regions in Spain and Italy. You may have noticed a theme with these topics I work with. It's mostly food, drink, and travel. Those are things that I'm generally interested in, but most importantly, it was really useful for me to automate them. I'm sure you have things like this in your life, too finding airplane tickets, checking if your favorite pair of shoes is on sale, finding a COVID vaccine date. This is the key to finding your first task to automate. It should be annoying for you to do, but it has to be something that you find interesting and useful. But something strange happened as I started writing all this code. It became something I do for fun, for relaxation, or if I was bored. It became a creative outlet for me. And at one point, when I was searching for a new job, it became for me a way for me to blow off the stress of that. I decided to create a Twitter bot that would spew education jargon or edgy babble, just to see how many followers it could get. It ended up getting around 14,000 of them. And it was getting retweets of the nonsense that it posted and private messages asking for teaching advice. And it did relieve stress for me, because it was funny and it was fun. It certainly wasn't something I thought I'd experience when I started writing code. So keep an eye out for your World Cup problem that gets you started automating and coding. And I hope that like me, 
you end up enjoying it for the enriching creative act it can be. Thank you. <laughs>